Next, we want to welcome expert mentor Sharon Flynn with, and I love the title, NUIG Experienced Academics pilot group, it suggests there are other groups. Um, this mixed discipline group has nine participants from mixed disciplines across the university and they're using light bulb moments. So we're a group of academics, apparently, experienced uh, from NUI Galway and Sharon Flynn uh, was our mentor and we'd like to just to, um, on behalf of a bigger group, there were nine of us I think in total, um, to share some of our light bulb moments along the journey. So uh, we've heard the word reflective practice and reflective a lot this morning um, and I'd heard it obviously for the umpteenth time before I entered the room with uh, this group of people but all of a sudden the little light bulb started to go. When I listened, as I listened to other um, practitioners reflect on their own practice, but the light really just came on um, with a concrete example from Sharon, from our mentor, um, from a conference I think it was that she'd been at where she reflected on what it was that had happened, what she had done, and then, but what I learned. And it was such, a, um, it was a very simple but concrete example, and it gave me the confidence to develop my own profes professional development, develop my own journey, and to finally uh, put an e-portfolio together. So, I'm a bit of a squatter in this group actually because I am an educational developer, but as part of that role, every year I ask roughly 30 academics to develop a teaching portfolio. And every year they struggle, and I struggle understanding their struggle. So this was a time for me to kind of practice what I preached. So <laughs> they're laughing at me. <laughs> Some of the academics who we put through this torture are here today. Um, this was a chance for me to practice what I preached and I struggled. I struggled to find the time and the space to take a step back, to think about what I do every day, how I teach, uh, the conversations and the interactions I have and the things I do to develop myself professionally. Um, I struggled trying to gather my thoughts and thinking about how I was going to present this to someone and, and make it presentable. Um, I also struggled thinking about where to start and I started many, many times. <laughs> Um, and in terms of presentation, I started with many different types of um, tools for presentation. Um, and then I struggled knowing when to press the pause button because we know it's never finished. It's an ongoing piece. So when do I press the pause button and present it? I haven't answered all of these questions at all, but I found the whole experience supported by the fortnightly meetings we had and our mentor, Sharon, for me, that was a huge light bulb moment. And that in itself was a huge part of my professional development. So following on from that, um, I was one of those lecturers who was asked to do an e-portfolio, not too excited about it. So when the pilot scheme started, I was like, this is perfect. I'm gonna pop in here, I'm gonna learn loads, and I'm gonna fly through it. And yes, I loved week one, we got loads with the domain, no light bulb moments, but it was going great. And then week two, it was like a sledgehammer, that light bulb moment, they were looking for evidence. They want evidence to support this, evidence-based practice. And I went into a cold sweat, I had a flashback of when I was uh, in primary school and the priest was in front of us chatting away and he said that, you know, if you were in front of a court of law, could you be convicted as being a Catholic? And I was like, oh my God, if I'm in front of the teaching and learning forum, could they actually convict me of doing what I said I'm actually doing? I may all talk. So I was like, right, I'm going to have to find a way around to provide this evidence. And not only that, now I had already committed to doing an e-portfolio, so I had to be visual evidence. So while I guess I was a bit scared and a bit, oh my God, maybe I should just pull out and slip back to GMIT and say no more. Um, it was probably one of the best things I could have ever done because now going forward, every domain I looked at and every way I look at my teaching now, I'm always looking for evidence. I've got loads of 
loads of plans of action going forward for the next year. Um, and I probably asked more questions within my group than answered them. So I got loads of advice and loads of examples of different ways that I can actually get that evidence or get more feedback in different formats from my students going forward. Um, so I've got, I guess, a new perspective on how I'm teaching and moving forward with that. And I found it was a great experience. Thank you. Where's the button? Oh, you fall. There you go. <laughs> There's a light bulb moment. Okay. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm Chris. I'm, I'm also a slight interloper. I'm not actually. I, I, I'm, I'm a librarian uh, at NUI Galway, and uh, so uh, so I think what was really uh, uh, helpful for me, and, and I guess a, a sort of light bulb moment, was that the framework uh, identified what, was, uh, what I was sort of thinking in my head as a couple of uh, uh, axes along which to structure my uh, my professional development. But I think I think I'm going to go with branches. I really like that tree from earlier. It was really that was a really nice tree. So I'm going to go with branches and say. Uh, uh, so, you know, uh, in terms of the domains themselves, they really identified some, uh, uh, some, some new uh, areas for me of, uh, to, to carry out my professional development, some, 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 some themes that I hadn't really thought about that I can, uh, that I can move towards as I'm thinking about new opportunities to, uh, to do my professional development. Uh, and then along the, the uh, another sort of branch is these types of learning. So, uh, so pushing myself to move from being a, a new learner, consolidated learner, and then on to mentoring uh, and leading. So that's another thing for me to think about, and uh, it started to help me to push forward along that uh, that other kind of branch. Uh, and so I'm uh, specifically doing that in the context of uh, of a CPD project called uh, uh, Ready 23. So uh, I'm pretty excited about that. It's a, it's a librarian CPD project. So if there are any librarians in here who've heard of that, you. You, you can uh, uh, you can you can you can talk to me about that if you want to find out more. Uh, so uh, so that's all. I've I've found a, a fantastic uh, a project to be a part of. So thanks very much.